Entitled mom begs bride to be less happy on her wedding day. So let me preface this saying this is my mom's story, not mine. I don't know all the details because I know it's a painful memory and I don't want to make her relive it. The characters will be MM, my mom, EM, entitled mom, ES, entitled sister, MD, my dad. My mom is the youngest of two girls. She and my dad went to high school together but didn't start dating until they were both in college. It was a chance meeting that they ran into each other in a bar. Cute story, still happily married and in love 23 years later. It all started when my mom got engaged. My aunt was so upset because she wasn't engaged first even though she was older. Throughout all the planning she was pouting and kind of cold towards my mom. So the day of the wedding comes, my mom is getting ready with her bridesmaids. She is marrying the guy she had had a crush on since high school. She has her perfect venue and she is wearing her grandmother's, my great grandmother's dress. Everything is going absolutely perfect until my aunt starts crying. My mom tried to comfort her because she is the most selfless woman in the world. Even though she was getting married in mere hours, she was focused on her sister. A little while later, after my aunt ran off, my grandmother pulled my mom aside. Like I said, I don't know every detail, but a conversation went something like this. EM, hey MM, you're really making ES upset. MM confused, uh, what did I do? EM, you're way too happy and making her upset that she didn't get married before you. Uh, pardon me? Can you just be a little less happy? My mom was in shock. This was supposed to be the happiest day of her life and here was her mother telling her to be less happy so her sister didn't get butt hurt. My mom's whole life she was always told to set her accomplishment aside so her sister felt special too. When she was younger she was told by her parents she would never go to college because she had had a hard time in school, dyslexia and ADD before professional help was available. My mom defied all odds and graduated with a master's degree. Can you guess who got all the glory for graduating from college? You guessed it, my aunt. And on this day, my mom wasn't having it. MM, look mom, I'm sorry that ES is upset, but today is about me and MD. We're happy and I'm not going to hide that or pretend I'm not just so ES won't be sad. Today is the happiest day of my life and I'm not going to give that up for anyone. My grandmother shut up after that. She did give my mother a disapproving look though. I don't even need to have been there to see it. My mom still gets them all the time. After that, the wedding was perfect. My mother still talks about it with stars in her eyes. Now, my mother still has to deal with their shit sometimes, but she also has my dad and us kids, two of us are adults now, to help stand up for her. She's very happy and I'm so glad she stood up for herself. There are a few stories like this that I know about, but this one makes me the saddest. I'm just glad she didn't let it ruin her wedding day. Don't dress like that in front of my kids. Just another story about my boyfriend's crazy entitled aunt and cousin. My boyfriend Cyrus, name changed, and I were on our way to a dinner party and stopped by at his parents' home because he needed to drop off something his dad had asked for. As he went to see his dad in the study, I parked the car and then went in to wait in the living room. His mom greeted me with her usual warmth. His aunt and cousin, along with cousin's gaggle of children, were there too. Cousin greeted me, then gave me a once over and whispered something to her mom. They waited until Cyrus' mom had left the room, before aunt said to me, You know you really shouldn't dress like that in front of the children. It's a bad influence on them. Me, uh, what do you mean, dress like... Dad, we're going to a dinner party, I'm dressed appropriately. I was wearing a black one-shoulder pencil dress. Cousin, well, your legs are exposed, I don't want my kids to think that, that it's okay for a woman to dress this way. You should go home and change, or at the very least, go outside and wait in your car. I'm 5'8 and I have long legs, but my outfit really wasn't showing a lot of skin. Certainly not enough to warrant this kind of a reaction. Besides, her kids were playing at the other side of the room and didn't pay any attention to me, so I have no idea why she was acting this way. Me sarcastically, damn it, I knew I should have just worn the bikini. Aunt, uh, do you think you're funny? As they were babbling, Cyrus entered the living room. They didn't see him, 
He had heard what they were saying and clearly didn't like what he heard. Aunt and cousin never talk shit in front of him as he has chewed them out in the past. He asked cousin why aunt and cousin couldn't dress better. Did they really think it was okay for cousin's kids to see them dressed in tacky saris? They should probably go home and change. When they acted indignant, he simply asked, Oh, I'm sorry, do you feel insulted that someone is commenting on the way you dress? They obviously had no answer. Cousin gave me one last angry look as we were leaving and I gave her a smile. Entitled Mom thinks my Pokemon card can blind her kid. Cast, EM, Entitled Mother, NK, Nice Kid, SO, Store Owner, me, Pokemon Card Collector. I was at a shopping arcade that specializes in nerdy stuff. Lego, Goku figures, Pokemon cards, etc. I was at a shop that sold Pokemon cards on the shelf. Not just booster packs, but loose cards like EXs, GXs, Full Arts, Rainbow Rares, etc. I took a card out from the shelf, it was a Full Art Cobalion GX, very rare, and went to the counter to pay. Then the EM and nice kid came over to me and this conversation happened. EM. Uh, excuse me, but did you pay for this card? Me. Uh, yes madam. Yes, okay, whatever. But can I request that you don't show this card to my son? Uh, what? I was not directly showing the card to your son. No, I meant don't you look at the card at all. You could possibly blind someone. Now I was very confused by what she exactly meant by blindness. Me, I'm sorry, could you explain why I shouldn't look at the card? EM, when we saw you look at the card, the light from your card bounced into my son's eyes and almost got blinded. It's a safety hazard if you think about it. For your information, the cards on the shelf were under a really bright mini spotlight, so it looks really nice displaying them, and so extra light would bounce off to grab customer's attention. However, this happened when the card was already taken out of the bright shelf. Her son was not affected by the light whatsoever, plus Pokemon cards aren't that reflective and bright. Me. I'm sorry that you feel uncomfortable with the card, you don't have to buy it. EM, where's the store owner? Let me talk to him. Me, he's over there by the counter, points to the counter. EM then walks over to the store owner. The store owner is just saying how rude and annoying she was and hoped the store owner would handle things because he was pretty strict. After about a minute when I had to go to pay, the store owner came over to us with EM. Store owner, so what's the problem EM? Well, this card is going to cause someone to go blind in the store. My son almost got blinded by the light. Store owner, OP. Uh, what card is this? Me, it's the Full Art Cobalion GX, store owner. EM. If it's the one where the person playing with it does not care about safety, then that's the card. Okay, now everyone in the whole store heard that and was in shock, especially the store owner. Calling someone who does not care about safety is a total no-go, especially to a card collector player like me. Store owner. Listen woman, if you ever insult anyone here in the store again, I'm going to be talking about you to the arcade owner and you will be banned from this store, understood? EM, whatever, let's go NK. NK, but I want to buy a card. EM, shut up, let's go. Now that the EM is gone, we were able to buy the card in peace. I left the store with my precious full art Cobalion GX and went back on the subway to a restaurant for dinner. Moral. A Pokemon card will not blind you, even if it's super shiny. Pokemon cards aren't even that shiny anyways. So those were the stories for today's video. If you enjoyed this and want to watch more videos, then click here for more stories, or go check out the info cards in the right corner for more videos.